Hey guys, it's Liddy here from L Makings, and today it's finally time for me to show you my upgraded CNC machine. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back. So you were probably really confused, um, kind of by the last video where when I mentioned um, the video being different than my upgraded version of my CNC, um, and going back and thinking about that, I totally forgot that I forgot to upload this video and finish this video to upload before that actually sign making video. So I do apologize for that. Um, but it's finally time to show you guys what I've done to my machine to upgrade it and make it look really awesome and work 10 times better than it did um, in the beginning of like the first month that I uh, started making these wooden signs and using this PM CNC machine that I built by myself and 3D printed. So um, I'm, I have done some um, voiceovers of the videos of me putting together and taking apart the machine. Um, so I'm going to let that play and then we'll talk more at the end. So the first thing I did was uh, take apart um, the actual router that I had because I was going to switch out and put a new one in there. Um, and then I uh, took um, all the bearings off because they were all dusty and I needed to clean them. So what I did was I soaked them in acetone and that really got all the gross stuff out. Um, and then I took out the actual Z-axis um, because I knew that I needed a bunch of new mounts because everything was really cracked. Um, and then uh, that's really it that I'm doing in this uh, part of this video is just taking all the bearings out and making sure that I can soak them for long enough to make sure they are all clean. And then next here you can see I printed a new little mount here. It is yellow, um, but this one actually is broken. So you see me putting it on here, but I switch it out later. Um, so basically all the yellow parts you see now are really non-existent um, in the final product of the upgrading um, just because um, they they weren't very strong enough. This is the poly smooth filament and I didn't smooth it. So if you don't smooth it, it's very brittle. Um, so as you can see, this is a little shorter than it should be. Um, but that was basically so I could get the top part of the rails as you can see more yellow pieces Those ones actually broke right away. So I just printed some white ones and um, I actually did keep a yellow uh, base part at the bottom uh, Just because that's the color I had to print But then I made sure that I smoothed it in my polisher uh, To make sure it was the strongest it could be because I did run out of uh Polymaker Polymax filament and that's why I'm using these other colors because I barely had um, a full roll at all left um, So I just bought I actually went to uh, Max hardware and bought a bunch of new hardware so I could actually have uh, Screws that looked nice on this machine and didn't look like crap um, and they were all the right length so um, Then I decided uh, I was just gonna put back the bearings because I wasn't going to change these mounts that I already took the bearings off of. So I just cleaned up those once again and then screwed them back on there. I tried my best to get them um, even so that it would slide even. The X axis or the Z axis would slide even because I was having some trouble because my rails are a little bit smaller than the actual mount um, is supposed to be. So they're actually like 23.5 millimeters. And the, the actual original size is 25 millimeters, just because I'm in the U.S. So then I got these new mounts for the X-axis, and these are supposed to be really strong, um, a lot stronger. So the back ones are still the same size, but I just printed new ones because they were already crappy. And uh, once again, I did put all my bearings in a cup of acetone so that they could clean up while I was putting new mounts on. But as you can see here, um, the bigger ones on the top, uh, they have three on the bottom and two on the top. So that's basically two extra bearings to keep it stronger and more sturdy. And um, I also changed the uh, wheel or the um, rails, as you can see there, the other bearings. And then I just wanted to make sure everything was tight. And I actually did change um, in the end. I didn't video it, but I added some washers onto the side so that it would pinch the bearings a little bit or pinch the rails a little bit more and then also the y-axis here as you can see um, it now has four on the bottom and two on the top so that's once again going to be very sturdy and very nice um, and it won't be able to wiggle um, and I just had to drill some extra holes for that which took a little while to figure out how, how I was going to do that to make it even but I eventually figured it out after lots of screwing and lots of sawdust 
Um, but then I just put in all the bearings, and luckily I had just enough bearings. I ordered 20 extra bearings, and the 20 plus the ones I already had was just enough to change out and add new bearings, uh, which was really good because I thought I actually was short six, but then I figured out that I didn't um, count the ones that I already had. So now it was time to back uh, put everything back and assemble it, um, and that was really easy actually, easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and as you can see here, the white parts on the top uh, were changed out, or the yellow parts on the top were changed out for the white ones. And then I did keep the yellow base on the bottom. And this mount that you see I'm putting on here is the new mount for my um, Perform Max router. It's basically a cheaper version of the Makita. So it was actually like 55 bucks with the 15% off at Menards. Um, and it works super great. Um, it's super nice and definitely a good upgrade that I'm glad I purchased. Um, and then these mounts are super minimal. I actually did print a yellow mount, but it was too bulky and I really didn't like it. Um, so then I just found this. It was super simple and it just slides in there and then gets pinched from the sides. And um, I've had no problem with that. So it actually took me a while to figure out um, how to get the x-axis straight because that was the whole problem in the beginning. Um, for some reason, my uh, once again, my rails weren't very straight. And so it took a long time to get the little part up there, the little spring part, to actually be straight and not be bent so that I would get a full... Um, vertical movement and nothing is war wobbly so as you can see I'm adding these back on there um, I wanted to make sure they were all tight and um, other than that that was basically it for the upgrades besides um, trying to figure out the best vacuum system um, and I actually didn't film the vacuum system I'll put a little clip in at the end here of what I decided um, I found one that was actually a standalone vac system which is really what I was looking for um, it was actually for the original P the MP CNC uh, the mostly printed CNC and not the um, artisan 3 version of it uh, so I had to figure out a mount for myself um, but I'll show you guys that once again at the end I was just messing around with previous ones I printed I actually probably printed four or five of my own um, And then I eventually found the one I needed and I also got a Z probe here um, and some uh, Y axis end stops so that I could really get my Y axis to be a str as straight as possible and I could really get the best cut as possible with the Z probe. And um, sometimes the Z probe doesn't work, so I just basically lower it to the Z probe height and then just move it um, home the X and Y and then move it to the original spot I needed by using the LCD screen and not my hands. And as you can see here, I actually also um, created a little um, notation cutout thing in my wasteboard so I can help me line up my material um, completely to the X and Y axis of the machine. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that um, upgrading video. Um, I had a lot of fun actually upgrading the machine because I feel a lot better about um, how it will work and um, the products that it will produce um, and it will do it a lot faster and a lot safer. Uh, and I did mention that I put a new boot, uh, vacuum boot on it, so I'm going to put a video like right here of just what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Once again, it is a standalone um, boot and I had to actually make my own mount for it because it is f originally for the original PMCNC and not my Artisan 3 version of it. So it actually works very well. Now it doesn't suck up all the dust. It's not completely sealed but I do really like it because it is all 3D printed obviously except for the plexiglass part that I had to cut out which I did not show in the video. But other than that it is all 3D printed and one thing I do really like about it is like the brushes, the bristles on the bottom are actually printed in my TPU filament. Um, I believe it is my Ziltec uh, blue TPU and it was super easy because I got to print it on my TiVo Tarantula uh, Pro 3D printer, which I didn't make an upgrade for uh, printing TPU on, so that is also a tip. Um, the TiVo Tarantula Pro prints uh, TPU filament just fine with um, just a couple different settings, and it's actually really cool because I just had to print three or four of the sets of the bristles, and there was a groove in the bottom of the actual uh, vacuum uh, boot thing, and they would just slide in there, and I'd have to super glue them. Um, so that was really nice. It's super easy to make. Um, the only thing I had to figure out once again was the mount because um, I had to make it work for my machine and um, because it didn't work originally for it. But other than that, the machine is working great. Um, as you guys saw, 
uh, the all the signs and stuff that were engraved and um, cut out and stuff for the previous video, um, the one before this, of the sign making that was cut out with the upgraded machine. And all the signs that I have right now and have been posting about on my Instagram have all been printed or cut out on the CNC machine, which works fantastic. Um, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more CNC videos and hopefully some more 3D printing videos. Um, if any reviews come along, maybe I'll be able to review a small CNC machine one day. Um, but other than that, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, uh, thank you to one of my cool subscribers for sending me this awesome t-shirt. Um, he sent it to me very generously and some stickers. So thank you so much to you. You know who you are. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.